This is kind of interesting. I'm not even peeking. Usually I at least peek. Today I didn't even really peek. <laughs> Do you see that? It's jewelry. Ta -da, ta -da. Nope. These are nice. So this is made in New York. Wow. Look at that. I see some coach down there. Mama likes that. Ready for some more hats. There's still more. Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought a unit at the auction for $375. I like what I saw in the purses, fancy hats, and maybe even a fur. Excitement turns to disappointment, however, as I grab the first trailer load and see that many of the boxes contain paperwork. Let's start to dig through and see if we can salvage this adventure by finding some treasure. Alright you guys, I just got home with this monster truck. Unfortunately, there are so many files and straight up just garbage that I'm not going to go to the flea market with it tomorrow. Um, I am instead just going to sort it and pull the best stuff out to go to the flea market another day and make a dump run tomorrow and probably a savers donation run. So uh, you can see it's not too light anymore. We're losing our light quick, so I got to get started. I want to bust a little bit of this out tonight and I'll finish up in the morning. All right. Get there. Put that aside. And look at this. Why is it? Look at that. That's hecka gross. I just want to say that, like, a lot of these boxes are just extremely heavy. I'm not exactly sure why. I don't know why they're so heavy. I just don't know. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. So when I'm going through the locker today, really I'm just like, I'm not even peeking. Usually I at least peek. Today I didn't even really peek. What? What is this? Okay, that's kind of nice, isn't it? Plated flatware. Look at that. Maybe this isn't going to be all garbage, huh? Okay, there's a brand. <laughs> Do you guys know that brand? Onita? This is Onita Community. Okay, that's it. Actually, kind of a nice little... Fine, I'm not going to dwell on it too long. Okay. <laughs> Do you see that? It's jewelry. I think it's all costume. I mean, what do I know? I'm just okay. Of course, right then and there, my phone glitches every time I get. Good lord, ah, this is the type of day it's been. So we're gonna go through that later, okay? We're gonna go through that. That wasn't the only box. We got another box here too. This in a whole bag right here too. Okay, let's go through that inside. A little bit later. All right. And this is really important because it's a little nice little nativity set, but somebody got busted off right here. Those. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Look at that. Hope we find some more of that. It says CR on the bottom. I think it's a Crown Royal glass. That is a nice glass. Okay. So much of plates. Oh, this match too. That's pretty nice too. Look at that. This reminds me of the ones that we got at that five dollar locker. They were like, they had some gold. They had some really nice designs. The other one was Crown Royal, but man, they didn't do the dishes before they put in storage. Gross. Here's another one, though. Here's some knives. Here's some silver one here. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Got a lot of cutlery and stuff. 
anyways, a ton of it. This matches the stuff that was in that other box. That thing is pretty nice. Look at that. Brand new. Alright, this one says fragile. I already know there's yep, at least one busted piece right here. That's busted too. Damn. They didn't exactly pack very well. That was broke too. They're all broke. It's a broke plate party. Let's see if we can find some that aren't broke. Apricot tea. That's a heavy one. This crystal. Actually, that's really nice, isn't it? Crystal. GG Durand. Durand right there. That's nice. There's another one right below it too. Alright guys, well maybe I wasn't entirely off with this, just a little plate there. Maybe I'm not totally off with this locker. That's dirty, but maybe there's some all that stuff in here. Okay, hey locker nuts. We're here, a little late night unboxing. Jeff unloaded a huge locker today. So I am starting to go through it so he can help get everything loaded. Okay, this looks like a little plant. What would you call this? A plant stand? Yeah, an iron, wrought iron plant stand. Looks like we have some clothing in here. So, this is like some fashion clothing. Okay, more fashion clothing. Little Chanel scarf, black, women's. Um, looks like kind of dressy. I'm gonna close a... Um, a dressy dress. This is all more like, um high-end kind of dressier wear clothing um, I recognize this brand sells at Nordstrom um, used to be pretty popular um, and then look at oh wow beaded jacket look at that it's got some sparkles and bling to it um, little dress barn leather jacket okay so this is Wilson's leather wow that's like a three-quarter length suede leather jacket. Look at that with a fur collar. Okay. Another one. We're going tan this time. So we got DVDs. Um, Journey in the Center of the Earth. So they're in here, but they're pretty scratched up. Not going to lie. Um, Dark Knight. So this is a pretty good collection. Um... A lot of different things. Last time I saw Paris. Some older stuff. Little Paul Newman. Little classics here. My dear secretary. Three days to Vegas. License to kill James Bond. So, wedding planner. Oh, one of my all-time favorites. I'm going to keep this. You know, when you have a ride in the car and you need a movie to watch, this is one you got to watch. Let's see, we got some mystery in here. Ooh, we got a baby's hat. Oh, this is a nice millinery. Wow. Look at that. It's a Mrs. High's classic. That sure is pretty. Look at that, honey. That's a fancy one. Oh, that's nice. With some feather work. That yeah. might be worth something. Nice yeah, so we'll check this one out. Yeah. Oh, looks like it's another movie box. Okay. What do we have in here? Chosen one. Okay. Perfect holiday. So, Hotel Miranda. Brother John. So, some good movies. Good movies. <clears throat> we sell well at the flea market. Sometimes we donate them. Just depends. Uh, but some good movies. So that's great. So we got some books. Who doesn't love a good book? Are you the one for me knowing who's right and avoiding who's wrong? Sounds like a solid book. The Anger Workbook. Not the first time I found that in a locker, unfortunately. Okay. I got the boss with me. So he is going to help me scan a couple of these. Oh, that's all you do, huh? That's all you do. You are so smart. I knew there was yeah, one cent ten cents. Ten cents. That's big value, people. Scam. Okay. 
447. 447. Okay. These All right. Big money ones. Just a couple samples. Let's just do one or two more and then we'll just for funsies. Isn't that 25 great? Cents. People, tell people how this works, honey. What app do you This is on? the Amazon seller app. Mm -hmm. so you have to have a seller account with Amazon to get the app to work. But um, it makes it super easy, right? Turn that one over. Sure. It's pretty, I mean, that's as easy as it is. Click a button, point yeah. it in the right direction, and Dollar twenty five. So this is great. So in just seconds, you can know the value of any book. So any of you pickers out there or storage buyers, that's great. So funny enough, we were just looking these up on eBay yesterday, and we were like, "Wow, these actually go for like twenty to forty dollars." This one's older, and it's really got some cool look to it. So let's see if maybe there's something kind of special in here. So a green bow, some makeup. It's definitely older. You see nail polish, makeup. I'm going to say it's got to have some years on it. Actually, things like this sell really well at the flea market. Like, you just get the woman's personal care stuff. Um, more headbands. We'll sell those. A lighter. Jeff loves these lighters. So, I recognize this logo. I had a girlfriend that sold this stuff in the 90s and early 2000s. So, um, Premier Designs, it's a jewelry, like, um, at-home party thing. You go and you sell it. Um, you know. Um, so far it looks like it's all empty containers and no jewelry. So, that's kind of a bummer. Um, I smell something burning. Do you smell that, honey? Oof, I can smell that. Cute little fake plant. Look at that. Super cute. We look through these because I kind of feel like maybe we should. All right. Let's see if we can find anything in these. Dun, ta, da. Nope. All right. Dun, ta, da. But guess what, people? Ooh, I'm not sure what that is. We still got to check, right? Cause you never know talk about hats this gal had a awesome hat collection let's dig in and see what we can find look at this beauty i'm sorry i'm not really into fancy hats but these are cool all right there's got to be some ladies out there that just love this all right so if you do hey email us because we got a pretty killer hat collection all right should I try some on? I can model them. I guess. Then we got this beauty. These are nice. So this is made in New York. So real pretty. It's straw, right? With the pretty flowers on it. This. This is nice hats. Okay, just a fun tip. When I was a junior higher, I used to sell at the flea market. My aunt and uncle and cousins had them. Um had a booth and one of the things I sold were hats. So I kind of like hats. Cowboy hats, straw hats, baseball hats. Um, so I've kind of like, I've come up in the hat business, people. That one's really pretty. These are nice. And I think in the South, it would seem like these might go better. The silver one, that says party, right? You know what? These would be good to donate to our school, maybe for plays, even what we don't sell. This is awesome right here. This one, so cool. Okay, I'm loving these. This is real pretty here. Oh my gosh, this is my new fave. Look at this one, I love it. Yeah, I'll model this one. I think it looks good. Seriously, it's been a long day, people. Coaching soccer, running the kids around. Now coming home to help the hubby because he's been breaking his back all day. Okay, and this lovely one right here. These are really nice, honey. This New York. This one's a little beat up compared to the others. And we have some sort of fur. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not big on fur. Um, that one's kind of cute. Um, ooh, look at that hat. This looks like a little mink hat. So cute. Like you're in Russia. And I don't know what this is for. Anyone tell me? That would be great. 
Okay, hold tight. I'm going to grab some more. We're back. Ready for some more hats. There's still more. Okay, so let's see. I went in to grab this beaut. And it is <clears throat> a fifth Sunday exclusive hat. Certainly looks fancy. Uh-oh, favorite team, Raiders. Cool velvet, like, cap. This is like a black velvet. Beautiful. Looks like a little hat Jackie L would wear. It's so cute. And then another mink. I think these go around, like, your collar, right? In your coat. Correct me if I'm wrong. Feel free. And then this beauty, right? These are so cool. Made in the USA. 100% rule. That's a beautiful hat. This one is in its own special box called Benmark International. I don't know if you can see that. If anyone knows anything about that, love to know more. Big, beautiful box. So I don't know if it belongs to this hat. This hat is another nice high-end wool hat. Really pretty. My goodness. Another wool hat made in the USA. Pretty. This lovely, it's kind of like a gold shimmery one in great shape. Similar to the silver one I found earlier. Um, this is Joe Ben Miller. Really nice, beautiful hat. This black one's kind of sassy, it's summery. And we have some more floppy hats, casual, like these are just like more mid-level, entry level. Oh, okay. And then we left the hat domain and now we're gonna get in some, some other stuff. So, we're moving on to some other pieces. Looks like some lace work. Or, oh, that's very pretty, look at that. Very nice. Hair pieces. Oh, wow, someone put some nice work into this. A scarf. So, it looks like a bin of all purses. So, we'll just go through them real quick and see what kind of brands and what kind of condition they're in. And see if any of them are worth something special. So, this first one is just a little gold. Um, I can tell right off the bat. It's just a little fun, you know, an expensive purse, but fun. And then Venus right here. I've never heard of that brand. Just a cute little practical bag. Another purse that's kind of seen a little bit better days. A little metallic one. Cute. I see some coach down there. Mama likes that. Um, I was in Safers the other day with Jack. And they were selling coach push purses there for like 40 bucks. And we were like, they're getting some decent money for the coach bags at Savers. DKNY. This is kind of cute. DKNY is popular. And this is in great shape. So I'll keep this one, and um, this will be up from one of the better marks. This is super cute for fall. An animal prints of holy in. Oh, now this has really got my interest right here. I love old purses, and it's heavy, and it's got a great shape. It's super unique. Yeah, this is pretty. Look at this one, honey. Look how pretty that is. That is cool. That's super cool. Look at it. Shimmies. That is super pretty. Mama likes. Okay, I see Coach. Let's see what this is. So this is the Coach. Um, it's kind of has some wear on it. See, it's like, but it's in good shape. So I'm gonna say it's real. It looks real. I'll look at it a little closer to double check. But it's a little backpack. This we'll get some good money for right here. This is the best thing we found all night so far for me. All right, so Gianna got mostly excited about that coach bag. That was her favorite item. My favorite item is this right here. And I didn't even realize how nice it was until I looked at it a little bit later. I got a little excited about it when I saw it. And when we first pulled out one of the items, I think it was this. It says Onita Community. I'm not sure if that's picking up on there. But, um, and I researched Onita gold-plated silverware, flatware. And got pretty excited because it is there's some value there we're talking two to three hundred dollars um especially closer to 300 if it's new and i see all these items in the in the bags um but then i start looking a little bit closer and this one is not onita this is wm rogers and sons and it appears that this is more common 
So most of the pieces are this WM Rogers, not Onita. So there are some like this that look brand new. I don't think those were used They're in the bag. And then there's some like these knives here that are used and you can see they are not, they haven't been cleaned very well. And also they have a little bit of pitting and this little use and care instructions that came with it says that after you use these to eat with them, you're supposed to wash them um, quickly ASAP because the acids and some of the foods will cause the pitting. They probably weren't cared for as fast as possible. They still make really nice pieces. This is still gold, guys. This is gold plated flatware and um, pretty nice. So what I have to do now is sort this out, see how many pieces belong in the collection and um, I'll see the value. I'll get right back to you on that. All right, guys, I organized it a little bit better. Basically everything up on the top here has been used and most of it, eh, you can see the pitting. Only a couple of them did I clean up because they were pretty bad. Like this one, you can see the pitting on there. That's the most severe of these two. The pitting is pretty bad, like it's eaten right through the gold. Everything else just has a little bit of a ghosty look to it. Some of that does polish up because these did right here without even that much effort. So stuff like this right here, I think it's gonna polish up. Not a bad little set, right? Um, but all these down here, this all appears to be brand new. So everything down there is uh, unused. So not too bad. 62 pieces in total. And I think we're gonna be listing this at about, I don't know, probably $89.99 on eBay. All right, you guys, what do you think? If you found this in the locker, would you keep it? Would you eat off of this? I was tempted for about two seconds. I think this would be kind of cool at Thanksgiving and Christmas. Be eating on gold, feeling all high class, but nope, not here. We're gonna pass this on to a new owner, but it definitely made for an enjoyable uh, discovery because we've never found anything like that. We found silver plate, never found gold plate. Never, never ever a set this big. So that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, shoot me the thumbs up. All right, show me that you like this sort of thing and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. We really appreciate it, okay? The next part's coming out with the more discoveries out of this locker. And we have a huge dragonfly in here. So uh, you'll have to wait for that one, okay? Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. And I think dragonflies might be lucky.